So we're going to look at Coulomb's law again. Uh, this time we're going to look at a charge pendulum in an electric field. So I have this diagram. You'll see a blue pendulum bob with charge Q and mass M. It's connected to a string with length L and as you can see it's tied to the ceiling somewhere. And this entire system is immersed in some electric field E and you can see E is pointing to the right and that causes some force on the pendulum bob which in turn causes uh, the angle theta. The angle theta is between the vertical and the string itself. right? So my question to you is what is the measure of angle theta? So I'm going to get rid of the L, the M, the E just so I can clean up the diagram a little bit because we're going to be drawing a free body diagram here. Uh, a free body diagram will give us a good basis for analysis and make the math very very simple later on. So uh, the pendulum has, uh, the bob has some mass, so we know F is equal to mg pointing downward. We know that the bob has some charge, and so it's going to feel a force due to the electric field, an electric force. And finally, it's connected to the string, so it's going to feel some tension force, and I'm going to call the tension force T. Now you'll notice we have everything pointing up, down, left, right, except for that tension force, so let's try and get that tension force into two components. Uh, so you'll notice first that if I draw a vertical straight through the pendulum bob, uh, we can define the angle theta with respect to the vertical and the uh, tension vector in the line. And because of that, I can uh, draw in the horizontal component as tension as T sine theta and the vertical component of tension as T cosine theta. So now that I've got all of my vectors defined, I can uh, sum them up and make sure the sums are equal to zero, right? So summing the horizontal components, we have T sine theta plus uh, QE vector must equal zero. So that therefore T sine theta equals QE. And summing the vertical components, uh, T cosine theta must equal mg, right? And so now I can just do a little bit of rearranging. I divide by uh, sine theta and cosine theta in each of those terms and I set the t's equal to each other. I can rearrange the sine and the cosine to get tangent and I can take the arctangent to get uh, my final answer. Theta is equal to the arctangent of QE over MG. So a uh, few final thoughts. First of all, the physics you learned in the past is not obsolete. You're still going to be using free body diagrams, energy, everything. So don't forget all of that stuff. Um, in this problem, as you saw, you can draw a free body diagram uh, to solve an electricity problem. And later you'll see you can do the same thing for magnetism problems as well. Uh, and so my question to you now is, what would happen if the charge was negative? So try redoing this problem, only this time use a negative charge and see uh, what answer you get.